Hello there lovely people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance from House of Latafa. It's a Middle Eastern house. I reviewed quite a few fragrances from them. And they are one of the one of my favorite fragrance houses at this current moment because of few reasons. Their fragrance pricing, second thing, how nice they smell, and third of all, they are great performers. Okay. On most part, Middle Eastern fragrances are affordable unless you're talking about more Uber, like Arabian Oud or some of the other ones. But you know, they have different price range. But today, the fragrance I have, I have a story to tell you. It's a beautiful presentation and I have a little bit damage I have done to the box. I'll show you the fragrance called Ajwad. Okay. Look at that presentation. It's a huge box, but it's actually a tiny little 60 ml bottle and the concentration is EDP. And uh, the thing is, the, let me show you the damage I've done to the box. They had this beautiful little, I don't know, string, whatever attached to it. When I, I was too excited, I, I tried to pull it and then this one tore. Okay. So now I have only like a tail, you know, like <laughs> it works. But you know, that's where I took out the bottle. This is where the bottle stayed. So let me show you the full presentation. I talk about the perfume and who is it for, what it smells like, is it similar to something. It's a beautiful presentation. That's the first thing that caught my eye. I think one of the Indian groups, fragrance perfume groups, one of the brothers or, or in my group, you know, he posted a scent of the day. When I saw the bottle, I was like, you know, you know, you guys know that I have a thing for bottles, you know, presentation matters. I saw the bottle, I'm like, I, I don't care how that fragrance smells. I want to buy that fragrance. The moment I saw our dear brother Nadir Bhai, um, his shop is called Arabian Shelf. One of my best friends in Bangladesh. He is also a very nice human being. So whenever I ask for a favor, he does it. He's like, brother, when do you need it? I was like, immediately. I paid. I said, I want it immediately. He dispatched it so quick and I received it. I was so happy just to get the box. You know, it's like a showpiece for me. Then I was like, if the smell is okay, you know, like even if it stinks, it's okay. You know, it's a perfume, but I wanted the bottle. So the fragrance doesn't cost that much money. I think it's about $30 in Bangladesh. If foreign countries, maybe $35, $40. It's, a, it's an within affordable budget. And this fragrance is marketed towards uh, unisex, both female and male. But certain sites are showing it's for female. I can kind of see that. But when I describe the fragrance, you understand it's uh, not just uh, like a female perfume. It can be worn by anybody. So here we go. One by one, I have pre-sprayed this on the paper. I'll spray this again to talk about it. Here is the box. Okay. Beautiful little box. And you look at the coloration. It's like a dream. It's like a Persian uh, store where they have nice merchandise or something like a showpiece, you know, vintage uh, showpiece or something like, you know, look at that. I mean, that is what you call a presentation, man. And I don't know. Someone asked me, brother, I don't know how Latafa does this. Can you tell me how do they <laughs> give this kind of presentation that solid presentation with this kind of price tag? You know, these are something like MOAs would make some niche fragrance of their niche, but the price tag, it's way below designer, right? So the name Latafa, take a look. I'm not going to read everything. And this is 60 mil. So I'm sorry about this. It looks a bit uh, nasty. I wish I could fix it. So when you open it, you know, at the back, they have, some more uh, the design continues basically it's inside there the bottle would stay really nice presentation got some cushioning here soft bottle stays nice okay but uh, that, that's not the most beautiful part the most beautiful part for me is this one this is a bottle okay I love this bottle to bits every single thing about this bottle is beautiful I got this for the bottle okay I'm not gonna lie to you I saw this I'm like I need this in my life there you go look at that it looks like one of those uh, lamps, you know, uh, you purchase from a very exotic, you know, vintage, uh, I don't know, furniture shop or light shop or something like it. You know, it's like a, one of those, you know, uh, collectible items. Perhaps you see the bottle, you'll not be surprised. You'll be like, is that $200? Can I have a bargain? No, just kidding. I don't know if you can see through the bottle for juice level, but it is all painted gold in front. This is nice plate. And this is the most beautiful looking bottle, one of them anyway in my collection the cap looks like this looks like nasamato uh, caps it's wooden cap quality okay but i wish uh, this cap like had better click it is kind of like not really satisfying it comes off very easily if it had nice grip that would be nice but it, it does don't pick it up by the cap okay nice little cap beautiful bottle there is the sticker let's spray this and talk about it okay and the thing is the third part is that smell how is it show you the spread Sprayer is good, very good sprayer. Like it a lot. Okay, let that settle down. I don't know when this was released, but okay, let me talk about it. First of all, when you smell this, uh, you will actually feel this is like a carnival. 
this is like a special day let's say Eid coming up or uh, something carnival going on you know anywhere you know it's like a happy days you know holidays people are going for let's say circus nowadays there's no circus let's say you're going uh fantasy land or uh, i don't know what's that thing in states where they go you know like a theme park and all that nowadays i'm getting too old i can't remember anything why am i thinking jurassic park you're not going jurassic park with this but you know like when you go for rides you know with the children you know a lot of balloons food uh, hot dogs you know that right uh, so feel like that happy times you know holiday there's no fight there's no struggle there's no corona uh, it's just happy times beautiful floral fruity uh, amber perhaps and there's perhaps oud in this but i'm not quite sure about the oud i'm just gonna tell you what i feel beautiful juicy lychee you know there's a lychee note there's also some sort of other citrus as a beautiful it's like the fruit uh, juiciness is just incredible if you love fruity perfumes first of all the fruity opening is amazing okay so i think there is going to be rose popping at the same time side by side or some other florals it's stunning and there's a little bit hint of saffron or something spice so it, it makes it very interesting and very uh, strong opening okay but not quite a nose burning one that you're going to be like oh like you know you'll be like uh, turn off by it no uh, this fragrance basically it's for mostly i would say first of all women and then men okay because women you know they're beautiful right women are all beautiful uh, this fragrance is beautiful this is one of those beautiful fragrances that your money can buy your eyes you know they will like rejoice wow beauty you know all in all beautiful package okay so you do not get that much of transformation but perhaps the opening sweetness settles down a little bit it turns into sort of like gourmand like a vanilla perhaps perhaps there's a vanilla at the base but i at first was like what is this i'm smelling i smell this before the dry down you know and i kept thinking thinking uh, within one hour it hit me what this is similar to okay let me just show you that and i'll tell you uh, in the end who is it for longevity and all that very simply speaking those who cannot compare it because they haven't tried this other perfume i have seen reviews they do not mention this but if you know this one arabian oud asil special uh, edition special edition right special edition yes this is one of the most uh, beast mode kind of like a gourmand sweet amber all those fragrances like a nice little vanilla uh, think of like a leather vanilla combo with hint of fruits florals okay this is what this is but this is supremely expensive these are some of the more expensive arabian with middle eastern fragrances you have to pay the buck to get this like asil uh, then uh, what's the other one uh, man amiri you know those fragrances there's other ones i reviewed those are really expensive these are very expensive because of the box and all that this fragrance the lot of one reminds me of that very very close but the performance perhaps it's not going to be as beast more like 15 16 hours but i still get eight to at least eight hours okay let me just say eight, eight hours of longevity and longevity is not the same as projection you don't want to blame me like hey it didn't project for eight hours no fragrances project for eight hours unless it's really strong this fragrance is very strong very long lasting i got you can say seven to eight hours longevity projection it's one hour and a half to two hours really good projection but still it's there you know people can smell you but it doesn't really disturb others you know if you have two to three sprays people sit next to you or next table they can smell you easily if it's air conditioning room beautiful weather will be perfect it's mild cold weather you know it will be really really good it will like develop naturally from your skin you can smell every single note from the beginning you know top note the heart and the base such a stunning perfume okay and this guess what it's like 30 dollars okay and opposed to 150 dollars okay so thing is you know one fifth of the price only thing now uh, the some of the downsides perhaps some criticism 60 ml okay so when you're paying 30 dollars 60 ml it's almost coming to 55 dollars plus minus for 100 ml value so if you let's say get two bottles let's say 120 ml that will cost you like 60 dollars still cheap but it's not at that point that affordable but if you're just getting the bottle if you look at it that way that the perfume cost 30 dollars okay then it's affordable but 30 ml uh, sorry 60 ml is what you're gonna get from this okay so you need two sprays perhaps the concentration is strong enough for it to last really good value no problem but a lot of us usually they make 100 ml sometimes they make some other size you know bottles i have uh, some of the other ones like anabi and fragrances they are small also but it's okay so that's one thing you may be not satisfied with another thing is some people masculine men perhaps find this a bit uh, feminine okay and i'm just giving you a fair warning if you do not like sweet this is a sweet fragrance make no mistake it's a sweet fruity floral okay perhaps amber and vanilla at the base 
if you never enjoyed vanilla do not buy this if you never like that like a sudden hint of saffron and then mix with the floral fruity it makes you sick you know sometimes people can get sick sick in their guts this can give you that feel in the high heat especially if the sun is up there you put this on you will be like oh my god how do i rub this off my skin so there's that you know but for me i learn to find perfect day to wear a perfect fragrance if it's a bit cloudy it's gonna rain just put one spray on your hair on your pulse point enjoy like a nice cup of uh, mocha or something like you know like a latte and enjoy this fragrance sitting in a coffee place this is amazing if you have like a nice big you know like cookie or let's say cake or a dessert or a mousse this is the fragrance it's a very nice gourmand perfume it smells like uh, Turkish ice cream delight or Turkish delights okay so if you like those description give it a try I love this bottle lot more you know like because it's familiar to that special edition of Asil so it's not a brand new fragrance for me like smell wise I smell this before but the bottle beauty I cannot stop thinking over it you know I just like a stunned by the beauty of this presentation box and bottle except that fact this this thing is like ripped off I'm sorry <laughs> I injured the bottle but it's a collector's item amazing fragrance for the value you know I would give this 9 out of 10 I would give it a perfection 10 because it's affordable but there's no 100 ml it's just 60 ml so that's the only fact I'm giving this 9 out of 10 try it out blind buy worthy perhaps not but if you have to blind buy I don't think uh, highly likely more people like this because it's a sweet long lasting perfume so people wouldn't have a complaint against that okay great dating fragrance coffee sweet ice cream you know those beautiful days uh, holidays Eid, you know special days special nights weddings this fragrance will make a statement no one will guess how much this fragrance costs that's the best part Latafa I salute you 9 out of 10 for this beautiful fragrance called Ajawad there's the bottle once again for you to admire have a nice day thanks for watching I think I'll go upload these and one more review coming home one more then we'll review upload this take it take have a nice day and I'll see you soon bye bye